and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mardu mid-range is what we're going to kick the day off today with. We got four of our favorites um, from our War of the Spark standard format. We're going to play them all in ranked today. We've had a tough week in ranked, to be honest. We've uh, We've been losing some this week, so hopefully today is going to be better and we get back up there, rank back up there. There's just a couple of days left in this format, uh, or sorry, in this, um, uh, what are they called, the ranking period, I guess, like, you know, a couple of days left in the month that uh, this sector of time that you can have whatever rank, I don't know, season, there you go, season, that's a that's a word, that that's probably a more descriptive word. Uh, anyway, so, you know, we'll see how today goes. Hopefully better than it has been the last, like, three, four days or so. Um, and then as you see here with the schedule, tomorrow we're doing the M20 set review, starting the stream early, starting it at 1 o'clock Eastern. That'll be a whole lot of fun. That'll be going to YouTube also. If you are a YouTube watcher, make sure you keep your eye out for that tomorrow. And then we'll be doing our sub battle stream on Saturday. But anyway, so, yeah, we're playing four of our favorite decks that we've done well with this season. This particular deck, we've only played it twice, but it's been a whole lot of fun both times we've played it. And I haven't tried this deck over in ranked yet, so this will be a new, uh, this will be a new experience for the deck. Sending it over to Mythic and seeing how it does, but it's been a lot of fun. It's, this deck is really, really grindy. It's it's built around a Johnny and Soren bringing your creatures back from your from the graveyard. That's what it's built on. And so we got all these two drops um, that you know we're we're playing. We're like putting some pressure on our opponent early. They're killing their stuff. We're playing our Planeswalkers, getting it back, putting more pressure on them, and so on. It's it's a pretty sweet little deck. really like it. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and kick some games off today. I'll probably be doing five matches of each deck, give or take, in Mythic, depending on how time allows us or so. <laughs> so yeah we'll see 5-0 all around today that'd be great that'd be great see we're down to what are where are we at 93 percent which is just the i think that's the lowest percent i've ever had so time to get back up in that top thousand maybe maybe not <laughs> with a hand like that yeah we'll keep a johnny right I don't have, yeah, we already got a whole bunch of lands. We're gonna need more spells. Even if I'm not really particularly doing anything in any quick fashion here. All right, damn, we're facing Espa. Which always has turn two thought erasure. Bottle bomb. Well, I guess it's a tough choice. All right, there we go. All right, and finally we get turn. I thought I changed my profile to be a Johnny right before this. I have to go do that after this. I like a Johnny. <laughs> it's a Johnny in disguise. Ooh, speaking of a Johnny. <laughs> hmm.
I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna try taking the bell hunt. Command the Dread Horde's real scary, of course. And obviously so is Teferi. Yep, we're doing a ranked day today. With a bunch of sweet decks. Hopefully get a bunch of 3-2s. You know, if we 3-2 each, each time, we should get from like 93% to like 90... Seven, eight percent, something like that. I am not going to sit this one out. Well, that's pretty bad for me. Just gonna give them more life, uh, more time. Just makes Command the Dread Horde a lot better. Well, they have they have a really, really easy choice here of just bouncing my one one. Let's try this. Okay. You're gonna bounce that thing? Sure. No friend of mine. Deliver us to victory. I'll protect you. All right, looks like I probably should have just taken command of the Dread Horde. Sorry, I'm late. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Hmm. That's how it was meant to happen. <laughs> yeah, and Dragon, you're yeah. That's that's kind of the good part about YouTube is yeah, like whenever it's like you know you're kind of waiting between the the turn here, this you can hit like the might be a bad idea. The fast forward ten seconds or whatever, and I know I know a lot of people like watching on like one and a half speed kind of thing. Um, that's also convenient, but. Yeah, it's a little slower here on lives. <laughs> You're like, okay, yeah, we're waiting for our opponent to do something, you know, like just click for, you know, click the, the skip 15 seconds. Right, go and do your thing. So three, four, five, six. Don't make another move. Just do that so Teferi can't mine us. Ooh. All right, so they only got seven life to play with here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you can. You like it slower here, so you can work and not miss anything. There you go. Hey, what's up, real Telster? Happy Thursday. So yeah, our opponent has been playing very, very slow here. The whole game. This, I mean, I kind of understand this turn. Like, this is a tough decision, honestly, with, like, if they're commanding, like, what they're going to do, like, how they're going to get get out of this. For sure. Had some easier decisions, though. All right, so it looks like Bell Haunt and Tithe Taker are the choices there. 
So we'll kill the bell haunt. Put them down to one. Play crafter, tithe taker trade. Make it a one one. So now I still have tithe taker I can minus with the Johnny, or of course I can be taken up. The big decision here that, that I think my opponent did wrong was bouncing their own Othakaya. I think they would have bounced my token. That would have been a much better decision for him. But Hero is awesome. That was like the perfect card. That's that's a great card. That can just make a bunch of chump blockers and everything. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Yeah, that, that was a great turn. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. No, I don't have any heroes in my deck, no. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Maybe is it is Deckmaster working for other people? It's possible Deckmaster isn't working right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, we just need a land. So close. Our kinship ensures our big back on your feet. It's working for you, but not showing any cards. That's more like it. Okay, so it sounds like it's not working. All right, come on, land. We we haven't drawn a land the whole game. Let's take it back. We did surveil a land to the graveyard with a Thought Erasure way earlier. You but it's got to be time to draw a land, right? Oh, come on. Because I, my opening hand, my six-card hand, was had four lands, so we actually hadn't drawn a single land this whole game, which is usually good. We need to move quickly. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Oh, that's awesome, Isop Sun. Thank you. I train every day. No one hone your prowess. All we need to do is draw a land. We know in we know in two cards we're not getting a land because we're drawing this tithe taker. Oh no, the ink no, Bell Haunt. No. Ugh. Ugh. The rubbins. This game's just over. Yeah, I looked away. I didn't even see the Belhan coming. I like, you know, looked away, and then I looked over, and my Angrath was gone. They can just have their Teferi bounce their Bell Haunt, gain more life, 
draw more cards and Narset to fairy. I mean, like the game's over. All right, Black Blade, Elder Spell, our own command. We were so close there. So close. On like one Mask of Girl. It was pretty un unfortunate for us, like that. Our Daredevils weren't doing anything besides that one Thought Erasure. Like the the next couple of times, they didn't have spells in their graveyard. If we had a Johnny for our avatar, we would have certainly drawn that land. Hmm. I don't have too many things to take out. Like too many things to put in, like not enough things to take out. Sorry. Maybe I should have cut a reveler. I don't know. Reveler is really nice of fixing our hand early. Always turn two thought erasure. Always. Really hope no cry of the carnarium. Yeah, the... Okay, so they just had another Thought Erasure for the next turn that they were going to be taking the Sorin, I guess. Alright, playing off the top. Brutal. So debating whether or not to play the Dragon Skull Summit because of Bell Hunt. But we have, you know, we have two Command the Dread Hordes, and now we have a Massacre Girl. So, like, you know, we have. Three cards that cost five, two cards that cost six in our deck. It's not super likely they have a bell hunt because if they do, like playing bell hunt the last turn would have been a good play. Yep. Sometimes Esper has just the cards that match up really well against yours. And yeah. Erasure, Erasure. Cry the Sorry, I'm late. Brutal. Here goes nothing. All right, 
right, so we need we need to draw. Don't worry. I got this. Command the dread horde. That'd be a good one. Let's see if they play big to fairy before I just elder spell here. And keeping the swamp in my hand, of course, because of Bell Hunt. Trust me, I have a plan. There we go. Do I even get the Daredevils out? I don't need to. My heart is hollow with scorn for you. I don't I don't think there's a specific deck that hoses Esper. That's why it's the best deck in the format. Hey, that was uncalled for. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Yeah, like I've got it. If the cards match up, yeah, Esper can deal with anything. They had the really good start there, but they didn't have like the big to fairy to turn the corner, and so they just kind of drew some lands. Just kind of drew some extra lands they didn't need. All right, let's try again. Hey, Sergeant Dimples. Yeah, I'm doing really well today. Yep, hope you're doing good today as well. All right, Mardu, game three. You can do it. You can Mardu it.
Not amazing, but we got lands, we got an Angrath. Okay, it's getting better. Don't really love mulliganing against Esper, you know, like against the discard decks. Don't really want to mulligan too much there. Um, what do I even want to get rid of? Is it Angrath? Is it Reaper? It's not Command Chubacabra, it's not the lands. It's either Angrath or Reaper. Considering Reaper, considering all we have are shock lands and like command the dread horde costs a lot of life also. We're gonna need more life. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. Alright, well it looks like it'll just be Midnight Reaper this time. All shock lands. That's not good. When you have Command the Dead Horde, that's not good. I'll protect you. Spark. Gross. This might be a bad idea. Okay, perfect. It's a good one. Daredevil's not really the best creature to bounce with the fairy. But it looks like they're doing it. There goes nothing. Tough choice. Command is just so powerful. Of course, I need more life. Soren can gain me life. But even if I don't have more life, even just getting hero. Hero, Remadi, Reveler, not bad. Okay, good. They didn't take Soren. So 
So my option here is either, you know, either just play Tithe Taker and stay at eight life, or I go to six. Sorin minus Daredevil plus Thought Erasure, but then they kill Daredevil, then they kill my Sorin. And then I'm in kind of in trouble because then I'm at six. I'm going to go a little bit longer out and just play the Tithe Taker here. Hey, Jacques. If I had, you know, if I had more life, I would certainly not be doing this this line. This is like my, my worst line out of anything I could be doing. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. I don't know. I kind of feel like they have another to spark. If I play Soren, I just spark my Soren. I don't know. Get some more defense down. Maybe not playing Butcher Soren or Tithe Taker Soren. A little too. Only time will tell. It's a little too scared. What could their last card be? Veto? That's really bad. Yeah, I was, that's what my plan was. Soren, Daredevil, Dispark, and Dispark the Ugin. That was my plan. Vito is a killer. Wow, that Vito was a killer. Looks like a loss. 
Ugin is quite strong. Looks like I need to discard the Command the Dread Horde, not the Angrath, way earlier in the game. You know, didn't know we'd be drawing another command and that they would have their turn two hero and be able to be really aggressive. So that's why Esper is so tough. You know, like one game, they just like cry the Carnarium you after Cyborg, and then the next game they just have like hero, you know, hero on the play that makes a whole bunch of one ones, and you're just suddenly like taking a whole bunch of damage and everything. It's tough. The last card was like, you know, Dispark or something like that, not Veto. I think we could have won that, but the fact that it was Veto, that really hurt. I didn't have the mana to command Daredevil and Dispark. That cost that's eight mana. I didn't have eight mana. So my shocking in for the Midnight Reaper against the aggro deck. Yeah. If we draw the land next turn, we can Soren lifelink. You know, give our creatures lifelink with Soren. Hey, Sko. GG's. Well, this is how this is how this week's been going for me. I haven't really run into opponents that are stumbling at all. I don't, I don't remember the last time I played against an opponent who stumbled. But all right, well, let's get these masker girls in here. Commands out. Baffling end. Dawnbringer. Dispark is not so bad. Honestly, the spark's not so bad. Mono White has a lot of stuff that matches up well against me. I don't know if I need both of them. Maybe one. Getting Conclave Tribunal is really nice, but they can also get Venerate Luxodon. So what am I going to play for my last two cards? I don't really want any of these cards here. I guess it's just the first striking daredevils. Or we put a counter on a daredevil like with a with an Ajani can do a lot. All right, Mulligan again. Playcrafters aren't even any good in this matchup either.
cool. Yeah, Jacques, it'll be a good, it'll be a, a good time with that review tomorrow. I'll be good. Okay, good. We're going to be able to get the land drop here from Ask a Girl. I may even wait a turn, honestly. Let them play some more stuff. Ugh. Well, now they have to play something with one toughness. The Ask a Girl's not actually killing anything right now. The Luxodon was the worst case scenario there, turning the bodyguard into a, a 3-2. That was like the one thing I didn't want to see. At least they are incentivized to play things to turn on Snubhorn Sentry. Toughness? Come on. I guess I could have played... I'll work. That'll get Tamik out of here. How does this work if you play a second Masker Girl with the triggers? Alright, Lyra Dombringer. Come on, Lyra Dombringer. Ooh. That's not so bad. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. So sacking the Masker Girl so that I still have the blocker for Soren. Plus we have like the other Masker Girl anyway. We definitely were fortunate that our opponent drew nine lands. That other card in hand's a land. Another day, Kerr. We have been fortunate there. You know, I kind of want them to have an, an extra X one earlier. Together, we are unstoppable. See in yourself what I see in you.
All right, yeah, we got the stumble. So can we get a game three? Can we have our opponent not curve out on us game three, hopefully? I will lend you my strength. have hopefully get Lear Dawnbringers. Yeah, if you don't have Dare Daredevil's a really important card with this deck because the whole point of the deck is like bringing back the two drops and Daredevil's just the best one there. So it, it really is like the cornerstone of the deck. But if you don't have the Daredevils and you want to play something else, I would recommend playing the Tithe like just just upping it to four Tithe Takers. Um and then the other two, you just want another two drop that you can bring back. Um, the top of my head, there's like there's there's the black explore creature, there's the black death touch with the death touch creature that also has um, afterlife. Those are some options. Well, Playcrafter actually did some work for us. But yeah, basically, you know, you can play whatever two drop you got that is, can kind of get you some good value of bringing back. Please don't run us over. Yeah, Tamik's not bad. You know, it's Tamik's difficult to cast, but. It's a good card. This is what we wanted to see whenever we had Masker Girl. Desperate to flip that Adanto, which is probably not good for us. It's going to mean a lot of histories. Oh, perfect draw. Perfect draw. And Daredevil's good here, too, as just an X1 if they do have Venerate Luxodon or Ventilish Marshall. Or both. Well, Masker Girl costs five mana. <laughs> That's why we didn't play it last turn. Hey, John. Yeah, I am having a good day. Hope you are as well. Hmm. So we got it. a first four and a couple of cards that we know are not lands in hand over there.
Pelion, hey, thanks for that new sub there. Welcome to the channel. I really appreciate that support. Thank you so much. That's brutal. That is brutal. I need the lifelink from Soren, of course. Proud to have come so far. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't think I trade five damage for one damage here, honestly, for how where I'm at. I'm gonna be at two because of the Tamik. If I attack with the Masker Girl, they get to attack back with like both of these, put me down to one. I could have minus the Johnny and got back Daredevil for another blocker, but I'm gonna be getting back Remodi Reveler the next turn. Wow, that was critical. That was a great draw. Can I ultimate a Johnny? Like, you know, minusing for the Daredevil is a little safer, but maybe I can ultimate a Johnny? Gosh, I don't think I can ultimate a Johnny. Well, I guess I'd have to baffling end this thing just to be safe. Do I even need to ultimate a Johnny? Ult 
Ultimate Johnny just gets me a bunch of life linkers every turn, basically. You are capable of more than you How do we lose? We lose. If I don't baffling end this, I lose to a, a top deck removal spell. If I do baffling end it, I lose to a top deck flyer. Yeah, I don't want to lose to a, a Benelish Marshal, so we'll stay back a turn so we don't lose to a Benelish Marshal. Summon reinforcements. So every turn they get one, 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 and every turn I get three, one, ones. All right. Yeah, Deputy Detention would have been a top deck there. That would have got me for one turn. You know, like the next turn I would have gained, gained a good amount of life, but yeah, for a turn there. Yeah, they had one turn for Deputy Detention. All right. I did see they're adding pets in the next update to be honest i didn't think we were going to really be winning that i got i got fortunate there with drawing the first massacre girl and then i got fortunate with drawing the second massacre girl uh with when the just like from the matchup wise i didn't think we were really going to be winning it and then whenever the soren got countered i didn't think we were winning it but just like after game one You had an Esper deck drop Ethereal Absolution on you after you a Johnny ultimated? Bros. Hey, what's up, Eisenf? Incubation Druid's annoying. That thing blocks Dreadhorde Butcher really conveniently. Strife makes monsters of us all. Embrace the bloodlust. Hey, Orny. Uh, that's why I should have kept Butcher back. Magnificent world. Oh, about that card? That card's kind of messed up. Land shall conquer you. I will spare you this time. Yeah, that card's kind of messed up. Um, hmm.
I don't think we really have a good option here, honestly. Masker Girl is not in our main deck. That's in the sideboard. Best draw right now is like Judith. Worst thing to see is Ripjaw Raptor. Never mind. Now best draw is Chupacabra. Rise, my elemental friend. Or just more lands. Yeah, there's Choop. Hey, Choops. What's up? That's not a good attack. They have the incubation druid is going to be turned into a three five, so that's not a good attack. I don't know, maybe I should have been chupacabring the Incubation Druid, but no, I'm just dying to the, the Ripjaw Raptor if I do that. We just gotta hope they don't have Krasis, because if they do, I'm, I'm dead. That's rude. That's hecka rude. Alright, come on, Judith. Come on, Judith. Come on, Chupacabra. Oh my gosh. This deck is just like anti... Anti-Mardu aggro. Like what? These main deck Ripjaw Raptors and Shalai's and like this, like the main deck Immortal Sun when my deck is based around the Planeswalkers too. Like they just have everything that counters my deck. Like and Nissa that makes a whole bunch of creatures. That's really annoying. Man, that was brutal. That was brutal. All right, we're gonna take out the Daredevils. Bring in Masker Girls. Bring in into Sparks. Um, I guess I could trim some Planeswalkers, I suppose. Planeswalkers are good though. Yeah, Gideon's not bad. Neither is Baffling End. Neither is Lyra. Neither is Elder Spell. Everything's like. You know, good situationally. Yeah, everything's good. We just have to only play 60 of them, though. Um, 
We got one Reaper, one a Johnny. Maybe no Playcrafter. Hmm. It just costs a lot of mana. Maybe get a Baffling End in here. And now get this Reaper back in. All right. Angrath's just going to be so good, though. Love Angrath in this kind of matchup. But obviously, if they have a Mortal Stone, Angrath won't do anything. As far as cutting Angrath for, for Lyra. You know, stealing stealing their land. Like, Angrath's so good against Nyssa. You know, like, how they, like, like think of, like, that last game when they, they play Nyssa, attack. If I would have just, if I would have been able to slam Angrath right after the Nyssa, take their land, attack with my 3-2 and my 3-3, kill the Nyssa, and kill their land. So that's what I'm going for. Hmm. Well, this is tough. I don't even know if that was right or just playing, you know, like not playing anything. The thing is, like, I do want to be aggressive here. Always Nissa. I will protect the virtue of this world. I guess I don't have a fifth land, so I'm not guaranteed to mask a girl next turn. Behold, nature's true power. <laughs> I feel okay. nothing anymore. Let us talk of peace. Hmm. Do I want to get back, re Remadi, and di ditch the butcher? It's basically like what. We're debating here. I think so. You belong to me now. Chupacabra is a great one. That can blow up a land that they make a creature. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I abhor my need blood. I 
All right, they're just down to one land. It's not many lands. All right, got game two. And no, I was not going to block. I was going if they wanted to attack Soren and kill Soren, I was just going to let them kill Soren because then I was going to attack them for a bunch to spark their ripjaw. I wasn't going to let them draw a card at that point. Maybe it's honestly Dreadhorde Butcher that gets cut here. And another Ajani. Dreadhorde Butcher does get stopped very quickly, and especially on the draw here. I'm going to go with Baffling Ends instead of them. And then play a couple of play crafters and cut cut one of the Ajani since we have less two drops to bring back. What does Tithe Taker do in the matchup? Uh, the Kind of the main reason why I have Tithe Taker, honestly, is, is kind of for, for Masker Girl. Because we're going to need, like, minus... We're going to need one toughness things. If they have an Immortal Sun out and, like, their creatures are bigger... Or, you know, like, we need to start the, the chain somewhere. So that's what, that's kind of the reason why I have mask why I have a uh, Tithe Digger, to be honest. Lead the charge into darkness. I have I never seen this deck play Gideon, to be honest. Well, now I can't play my own Gideon, can I? Well, let's see. My Gideon will go to five loyalty. They'll attack mine. Put mine down to one. Then I'll play Soren. I'm gonna go this way. That was my plan was to play Gideon. will cleave the darkness. Hmm. May the gods bless us in our righteous cause. I will lend you my strength. I have a good other option here. Share in my light. I'd like to draw a plague crafter. <laughs> that was nothing. I believe in you, friend. <laughs> you fight dirty. Come on, why can't you play the last turn? You're killing me. What's why is Gideon attacking Gideon also? I don't know. They just let me gain four life for no reason. Like, I'm tapped out, shall I shall I kills my Gideon? This Gideon could have just attacked me. Prepare for battle. Mm. 
Not again. Do not fear, my friend. Strength is born of struggle. Really use Playcrafter. That'd be a good really good card to draw. We will not fail. The land fights for us. We get to kill Nissa. You have not killed me yet. Okay, that's not a bad one. Look how far you have come. Fight on without me. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Seek shelter in my stewardship. And another Masker Girl would be awesome. Put them down to one land. Or just another land. And they're just picking it up. GG. We are two and one. Man, this deck is sweet. Looks fun to play. We're even two and one with Nicol Bolas. I talked about this during the first game. I forgot then forgetting to change my avatar. I want to go over to a Johnny. We stand together. All right, two and one. Ugh. Coming back after losing our first match and then losing our first game. You know we were 0 one and got destroyed our first game. Of match number two wasn't looking so good. And then we won games two and three. And then we got destroyed game one again. And then we won games two and three. Red, white, green is called Naya. Green is Naya. Ooh, we get to play first this time in game one. Okay. Yeah, we're due. Good call. We're due for a, a game one. A good game one here. We got Butcher into Reaper into a Johnny. A Johnny putting counters on Dread Horde Butcher is pretty nice. We're gonna need another land though. Get to these Chupes. I like seeing Stomping Ground with Chupacabras. Like that's a like, Chupacabra is good against Stomping Ground. All right, slow down. I don't want to like I could I could attack with the Dreadhorde Butcher and just trade, but I don't really want to trade considering we have the Ajani that can pump up the Butcher. I think I, I think I'll trade the Midnight Reaper for it if they want though. Yeah, I like this trade. Because this also just gets the battlefield clear where, like, my next Chupacabra, you know, kills their next thing. And we get to attack in for a bunch kind of thing. Yeah, I like this trade. And I, and I don't want to, like, take a ton of damage off a Reaper of, like, a lot of things dying anyway against the aggro deck. So, that's a good trade.
That's what we need. We need the cat avatar so our doggos will take over. Yeah, Playcrafter is another good one. You call it anarchy. For me, mm, it's we can sack the Domri. Playcrafter. The <laughs> They are breaking spells. I am proud to what strength is born of struggle. Just see myself out there. All right. Down to three cards. Tight Taker is nice here. We could just sacrifice Tight Taker. Got one card left. Return to the fight. Return to the fight. There we go. We got the strong game one. Got the strong game one. Now, can we finish this up? All right. Gruel. Means I think we want the Disparks, we want the Dawnbringers. I don't want the Command. I don't think I want Masker Girl. Like the creatures are too big. Um, Baffling End. Baffling End can be good. I'm gonna trim Angrath. That's probably a little slow. And then four cards. So I want to take out the Daredevils. Maybe two of the Reapers and two Daredevils. The thing is, they're going to have like their Lava Coils and everything this game. Like they're going to have a bunch of red removal spells, and Daredevils match it. You know, Daredevil pairs pretty well with red removal spells, especially Coil. Maybe I just go two Baffling End. Uh, maybe we get rid of a Reveler and a Butcher. I'll just trim those things. All right, how's this looking? Pretty good. I get this other reveler in here. We'll trim a daredevil. Oh yeah, we got some RJD two up in here. So we got the Zombie Warrior, the Human Shaman, and the Beast Horror. Doesn't seem like we're very much of a tribal deck here. Drawing land five and land six, certainly not ideal. I'm glad I have all four Remodi Revelers in here, though, right now. Are they missing land drop? 
the Mystic Land Drop is like good and bad for me. It's good because you know it slows them down, but bad because I'm not killing my opponent fast at all, and like they'll they'll draw lands and then they have like a, if they're missing land drops. It means they have just a whole bunch of sweet spells in hand. So yeah, I guess it's a tough call whether or not to attack. I guess my opponent's trying to think if they want to attack or not, like with Dreadhorde Butcher. Hey Matthew, happy Thursday. Got another land. Ooh, Remodi Reveler. Um, no, it, I don't think it's worth it to just play Chupacabra and then and try to get damage in and then. Uh, And then draw three, you know, draw three kind of thing. Because then if I, if I do that, they kill the Chupacabra. Then I'm just like, oh, I just wasted a Chupacabra. Yeah, it's not worth it. Hey, JMS. Yeah, we got some of our favorites here today. Got some strong ones playing a bunch of ranked. We're not doing good this game, though. This looks like a loss. Yep. Bleh. It's try hard Thursday. <laughs> uh, this is just, this is going to be my last stream uh, with the standard oh, set uh, for these. Because tomorrow we're going to be doing yeah, the set review. Saturday we'll be doing the sub battle. And then uh, Sunday, Monday, um, I'm going to take those two days off and get charged up, get ready to do 12-hour stream with M20. Um, on Tuesday. So Tuesday we'll be doing, you know, Tuesday we'll have M20. And I'll be doing 12-hour stream with that and everything. Yeah, I'll be, yep, yep, set review, we're going to be mostly talking about standard, but yeah, we'll, we can talk about other things, but yeah, it's, the set review is basically going to be about standard. Oh, I wish you could see your face. Now, the early streamer event thing is on Monday, and no, I'm not, I'm not a part of that. So, uh, yeah, I'll be taking that day off, and then Tuesday is a regular day when it comes out. Man, that was the one card that I thought that the double blocking wouldn't be so great. Because then I wouldn't be able to protect a Johnny. I can, like, bring back Daredevil Ambush, but I can't actually kill anything. I understand you are in need of support. Fight again. Of course, if I don't double block, like if I would have not double blocked, if I would have just taken it, I would have had both my creatures in play and I would have played a Johnny and ticked up on him, which honestly, that would have been bad too, because they just have their Domri fight one of these and then they have like, this huge trampler that's killing my Johnny anyway. I just need to draw another Chupacabra, kill the Spellbreaker, and kind of go from there. No more getting pushed around. I wish you only the best. We won't answer to other kids. Yeah, I'm gonna have a, a Google a Google Doc 
with like our our grades and everything um, set up. So, like, that's something that I haven't done the last times. So we'll have that set up so that people, you know, that don't want to watch, like, the, the real long in-depth in uh, us talking about it and everything. They would just want, like, the, the quick snapshot or uh, reference. They'll have that. Do you have, I don't know, there's a lot of announcements, Mass Kruger. Do you have like a specific question? Yeah, these are not good hands here. Ugh, I mean, that's a good card, but we're going to need some creatures to try to curve out here. Yeah, just one land into five lands. I mean, you know, uh, so if we had London Mulligan rule here, we would have been able to keep this and we would have kept Dispark instead of one of these lands. So, like, London Mulligan, we'd have a Dispark in our hand instead of one of these things. The historic format? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed about the historic format. I was hoping that they were going to have um, other, other sets that we're going to enter. It's just going to be like the same standard that we're about to have plus one set. Doesn't sound very exciting or like that, that there's going to be like much room to really brew, brew too much or anything. So disappointed about that for sure. It seems like it's going to be more Teferi, more Esper. Lyra Dombringer, please. Lyra Dombringer. Yeah, we've gotten, gotten some real bad luck here, this game, these games two and three. We got the first one, but then, yeah, it's just been so many lands here for games two and three. Good turn. Remati Reveler helping out. That was a good turn. Why do I have to have all their lava coils here for these games? Their hand is perfect. I don't I don't think their hand gets any better. <laughs> sit on four lands, get a couple of land war elves, a goblin, a spellbreaker, the growth chamber guardian that gets turns into a bunch more of them. All right, two and two. I guess we, we need to lose game one so that we can win games two and three. That win game one didn't work.
Correct, Mercer, yeah. All right, match number five. Yeah, our deck's not playing just a ton of lands also. I guess we're playing 25. Okay, we're playing more, one more than I thought they were playing, but still 25, okay. Don't really need a Remodi Reveler away anything. Hands looking good. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get rid of this hero. I think we already have a... Do we have like a, a rotate command? Yeah, so we have a, a, a rotate command there of like what, of that site. So what did they do? They just minus, but didn't do anything with the minus? They just drew a card? Oh no, they, they bounced my token. Right, I had a token. They got rid of. Right. Really should have seen that coming. Um, I I don't know why people in Soul are playing Omnixilis' Cruelty instead of Raska's Contempt. I do not know, honestly. See in yourself what I see in you. <clears throat> I have practiced. I have just yep. tricked. Getting ready. Getting ready for our new format where I was not strong enough. Playing a bunch of sweet decks today. Alright, so 9, 10, 11, 12. So I attack out. They block Judith. They're dead. How how are they not dead? They block Playcrafter. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're still dead then. Yeah, they're just dead. That's not a good block. At least if they block Playcrafter, they'd go to one. And then I would just play my other Judith to kill them. Blocking the Judith just made them completely dead. All right, let's get it. Um, the Masker Girl, other Command the Dread Horde, the Gideons. Maybe just one Elder Spell. I didn't really love the Elder Spells last time. I'm going to cut two Troops. Cut the two Judiths. And a Tank Taker, I guess? Okay. Got a got a pretty good curve. 
Not like our absolute best cards or anything, but pretty good. No, don't take my cat. Don't take a Johnny. I just drew a Johnny right before that Thought Erasure. No. Ah, Thought Erasure bug works. They take your sweet four, four mana Planeswalker, you draw another one. Bleh. So I got a Tithe Taker still. No, my Soren. Stop thought erasing away my planeswalkers. I don't appreciate it. The past keep an open mind. Wait, so they thought erasure at first? That doesn't make any sense. I guess they're seeing that they wanted to play Narset, I suppose, but it looked like they were very willing to play Narset to let it die. Are you kidding me? Cry the Carnarium? Why do you gotta be like this? Pretty glad they played that Othakaya. Like if they just if they just didn't play Othakaya and just passed, it would have been hard for me to like play Butcher into Akaya's Wrath. And so it would have been just like attacking for two, but like this is a, a better threat. Draw a land. And now I draw a land. Alright, come on, give me a land. Come on, deck. Gideon. Not a bad one. Not a land though. Gideon Jura, at your service. I believe in you. So three, seven. Eight, nine. That's 13, that's 17. Right, 4, 8, 10, 17. If you so wish to surrender now, you should be proud to have come so far. There we go. Our creatures had lifelink. We're going to be able to gain it back because of the Soren. All right. Moving on up. So, good start to the day with Mardu midrange here. It's a fun deck to play. 3 2. That's, that's what we want. That's what we want every deck to do today. Hopefully, we get a whole bunch of 3 2s. And we felt pretty unlucky in our losses, to be honest. Uh, kind of did. Um, so, 
playing this some more. I kind of feel like we don't need both Elder Spells. You know, maybe one of those Elder Spells could be something else. Uh, Dispark was pretty sweet. We could just have, like, another Dispark for some of, like, some of those matches. Dispark was awesome. Um, I don't know. Basically, we could have we could have an extra card here besides the Elder Spell. The Massacre Girls were awesome. We were talking about maybe ha wanting one Massacre Girl main. Um, I guess that would be, like, over in Angrath. Like, put, put one Angrath in the board. But yeah, like one of the Elder Spells can be something else. Uh, if you want, you know, depending on like what you want uh, a card against, you know, you could have like another Chupacabra for like the Gruul matchup kind of thing. Could could also just play like a Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard instead of just all Massacre Girls where Kaya's Wrath would be better against like a Gruul deck where Massacre Girl doesn't doesn't really do anything there. And you'd still play still play Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, I, I think a Kaya's Wrath in the sideboard would be good, honestly. Yeah, let's do that over an Elder Spell. Because Kai's Wrath get to bring that in against even against like the Bant ramp decks and everything, like the decks like where you're still playing um more Masker Girls. That card's just awesome. That card's just really powerful. So yeah, that's a that's a good cyborg card there. Sweet. Pretty awesome deck there. Alright, Mardu Midrange. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you very much for watching some Marty Midrange, and I will see you for another video.